What is up, guys? It's the dude. That's right. The man, the myth, the legend. And here we are with another tutorial of how to make Medieval 2 Total War great again. So, the first thing we're going to do is we had a lot of questions in the last tutorial on how to use Affinity. Uh, they couldn't find, you guys couldn't find the Medieval 2. Now, there's several ways to do this. Um, I just always use Alt Tab and then go off of the direct, um, what do you call it, uh, executable. But, so let's bring up Task Manager. And this actually works, and it's pr probably obviously the best way to do this. You go to Details, and then you're going to go down to Launcher, because this launcher goes directly into the executable. And there we go. So you can either alt tab and use the direct executable or you can set this to set affinity and you can see it's already done. Now, why is it already like that even though I haven't done anything? Well, there's an even better solution, which let me bring that one up. It's called System Explorer. Uh, it's a really great program. It's completely safe uh, before I get comments. Uh, this is going to come directly off of this website, which will be, well, that not that one, uh, TechSpot and several other websites. They've certified it. It's been around for a long time, guys. It's not a new program. Uh, anyways, I just never really used it. But uh, after playing around with it, it's actually pretty useful. So what's great about this and why Task Manager does not have this option uh, is beyond me. But as you can see. I go into set affinity and I can set it to permanent. You cannot do that in task manager without like uh, you have to do this whole command code thing. Um, so with this, you can set it to permanent. So every time you launch it, it's for that particular program, it's going to set the affinity and the priority real time permanent, right? That way you don't have to do it every time. Now with task manager, every time you're going to load this program up, you have to re go Un, you know, unclick everything, set to permanent, and then launch the game. Or alt tab out and set the, the executable. So this link will be in the description. And I hope that clears that up, that the executable has to be running, the launcher or the medieval two, for affinity to work. Unless you're using System Explorer, where, yes, you do have to launch the launcher but once you set that launcher you never have to touch it again and it has a bunch of other features which are beneficial uh, especially if you're doing modding stuff so if you don't want another program you just have to remember every time you launch medieval total war 2 with uh even without uh you know europa baba rome 2 on it you need to uh redo your affinity every time so i hope that clears that up and uh, let's get in on how to make Europa Babarom. Yes, we know. We're going to go in the tray there. Okay. Two, great again. So let's go back to here. I know you need that. Um, there we go. So we're going to be using Reshade. I'm sure some, most of you probably heard of this, but um, Reshade is... It's simply the best program you can use to really enhance, especially older games. Uh, I use it on everything because obviously everybody's taste is different, but you can make any game look phenomenal and uh, very simple to use. Now, what you guys got to do, now this is the complex part. You got to press this. That's really hard. You press it, <laughs> it downloads, and then you get this. So I'm going to open this up to show you how to work it. Super simple. All you got to do is click here to install into a certain game. So we'll just use Empire, for example. Let's see. So we're going to select the Empire. Okay. Uh, now, it depends on what game you are using. The older games are going to be DirectX 9, like Empire, 
Medieval 2, Rome Total War, and so on. Uh, now, if they're using a, a DirectX, DirectX 11, 12, you would, you would use that, obviously. So, all you got to do is click right, uh, I'm sorry, click on which one you want to use. Now, oh, I already installed it. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. So, I can uninstall it or I can update it. We're not going to do either. It's you, you would have install here because you hadn't installed it. So, very simple. Let me show you what that looks like. Do, 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 do. Um, oh, that's because it's on my other screen. What a surprise. I'm so good at this, guys. I am so good. Uh, let's go quick access common. Okay, so uh, let's go to Medieval 2 Total War. So what that is going to look like, guys, is you're going to have reshaders. Okay. And then you're going to have those files. They're these DIL files, um, which is really easy to uninstall. Of course, I don't have that. I'll put the link for the, it's in the reshade form of how to install. It's very simple. You just remove these D3, D9 DILs. And um, yeah, you just remove those and then you remove the reshaders. Very simple, not complex. And as you saw, if you, do this, you can actually uninstall those um, through the program. So once that's installed, you're good to go and you have to launch the program, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is, because we're using a desktop recorder, I'm gonna make a magic cut, it's magic. And we're gonna, I'll see you guys in the game. All right, guys, we are here. And you look, babadum, adus, with, reshade on now what you're going to see i think i caught that in the recording um it's going to load every time you load up the game or you reload a new preset so let me show you what that looks like so when you first load it it's it's going to even tell you I, th I believe the shortcuts home but um you can set this up to your heart's desire for example i have my overlay key which is what you're looking at right here i have that set up to f12 uh, and then the effects toggle key, meaning you're going to turn on what effects you're, you want to use or not use. Um, as you can see right here, there we go. You can see the effect happen, right? And you can set all this up. You can get a FPS counter, um, show the FPS. <laughs> it's like at a thousand FPS right now. Um, show frame time. Now frame time is actually what what you see when you see like the stutters the lags so it's really cool to have that option reshade is just good in general uh just a phenomenal program okay so um i have some weird thing load up let's go to default preset and these again uh let's turn everything off so we can go through all these Together, I can show you what you can do with this program. So I'm going to close this and we'll just go into a, um, a custom battle. Doesn't matter. We just want to Rome versus, versus Carthage. Uh, there we go. Let's select some troops. Team two. There we go. Let's start the battle. Start the battle. And if you're keeping up with my series, we just concluded the Punic War, actually. Okay, so here we go. Uh, start deployment, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so I'm trying to get better. See, now see how much smoother it is if you use the keyboard versus <laughs> the mouse scroll button. Anyways, all right. So let's bring up our, our, um, our overlay. And what you can do with Reshade, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. So, for example, um, you want it to look like an old movie? Wait. Oh, that's Technicolor 2. Where's the old movie one? Uh, oh, Technicolor. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're like going into... Uh, oh, shoot. That's F12 out. Um, we're going into like uh, Charlton Heston territory here. Okay. So now uh, down here, you can set these values to whatever you want. 
you see how useful this is? You can set this to whatever you like. That's what's so cool. Like, for example, I'll give you a perfect example. Um, my friend, he's into anime and Total War, right? And he loves, like, cartoon-looking stuff. So he likes to make his very cartoonish. Uh, what is cartoon? There's so many options. Uh, da, 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 da. Through the magic of editing. <laughs> you guys didn't have to see me stumble through <laughs> trying to find this stupid effect. All right, so I wanted to show you just, like, what you can do. Like, here's cartoon. Actually, it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty neat. <laughs> I see why my friend likes that. Even the shadows look really cool. Like, if you like the old, like, Sunday morning cartoons, yeah, man, that looks pretty neat. Um, I wouldn't even mind, like, playing like that. I could get old, I guess, but I do like the more cinematic look and really showing off the what you can do with uh, making this game look almost modern. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, you guys can go through this to your heart's desire. Now you go, wait a minute, man. This is, this seems like a lot of work. And I'm not really sure. Well, guess what's so good about this? So you can get all these presets. You can get mine. Now I did mine custom. Um, I just call it cinematic one, cinematic two, and you can just use my preset. If you like mine, if you like, uh, like this guy, I was trying different presets. Like, this guy's name is Poppy. <laughs> so let's use Poppies. Um, now, he was using presets for, like, I think a Fallout game. But uh, they looked really good. I didn't like him so much in, in this game. But there's tons and tons of guys of, like, here's Balanced. Okay, there's, like, Balanced. And so um, all you have to do is get the preset. I'm going to show you once we're done with this uh, where to put it. It's really easy. And if you want to make your own, like you, you know, like you should do this. If you're going to make your own, I recommend you do this. I love the dude. Yeah, because that's the only acceptable way to make a preset. If you don't use that, you don't call it that. You can't make one, guys. You cannot make one. And then you then you also have to do subscribe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so that's all you have to do to make your own custom preset. I don't want to make that, obviously. Um, and it's very easy to use and very useful. Like, let's say you get tired of your, like, you know, you're, you're tired of your, oh, my gosh. No. Get out of here. F12. There we go. You're tired of your preset. Like, you get your preset on, you're like, you know what? I just want to go back to my original game. Just turn it off. It's that simple. So you can do amazing stuff with the software. I mean, oh boy. So I actually got to turn it back on, but you can do amazing stuff like uh, levels. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Let's go back to default. Where's default? Default preset. There we go. Like, look at this. <laughs> you make, like, crazy-looking stuff, man. Like, uh, you know. And all you have to do is you can change it to whatever you like. Um, tone map. Yeah. You can make, like, little mini movies, you know, for yourself. Film grain. Mm, yeah. There's, like, the film grain. Really cool stuff, right? So if you guys want to get your the max out of this game, this mod, um, I highly suggest you do that. Uh, it's very simple to use, very simple to install. Um, you just have to be able to use your mouse and the internet and click stuff. <laughs> okay, now I'm just being a bleep, bleep. Okay, so we'll exit out of here. And um, I'll see you guys on the other side, and I'll show you where to install your presets. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back on this beautiful desktop. Like, who is that guy? He's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> so all you got to do now 
is go into your mid evil two total war main folder. And if you download the preset, you can see one right here. And all this is, is all the numbers set up in a configuration file. You don't need to know that. All you need is the actual file itself. And then you just copy it from your downloads or wherever you put it, paste, done. And then when you load up the game, you just have to go into that menu and select what preset you want. Very simple. I know a lot of people get confused with it. I was one of those, so I, I know um, when you first set this up, it can be a little daunting, but it's actually not daunting. You just saw me use it. It's very simple. And if you don't want to do the work, like you're satisfied, for example, with like my preset, you don't have to do anything. And then what's really cool about it is that you can change my preset. You can use my numbers be like, you know what? I slightly don't like what he did here. And you can, you can take most of what I did and then just slightly adjust it. So I hope that helped. I highly recommend using it. It's useful in many programs, FPS, like the frame time, which is really, if you're having like a lot of stuttering issues, you can see, you know, is it, you know, I'm, I'm getting 100 FPS, but it's stuttering. You can see if you, you have skips in your frame. That's what frame time is. But anyways, I'm the dude. Help me out with a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you when I see you, baby.